Uh, Efrox results, uh, we have increased our revenue by about 60, by about 6%. And uh, if you adjust it for LPG market price changes, uh, revenue has been up by 2.3%. Per, uh, Obviously, if you look into our profitability, <coughs> then we can report that our EBIT number uh, for the year reported has been down by 30.3%. However, that contains an impairment of 55 million rand and the provision for restructuring for the 2019 restructure of 52 million, so comparable is 17.8%. Overall, our cash flow is still very strong. We are a very cash generative organization. Our earnings per share is a result of the once-offs and the higher costs from in the main LPG, non-trading is down by 16.9%. Uh, our dividend in total we pay 77 cents uh, per share versus the 100 cents in the prior year. I think given the, the environment, I think we still had a fairly, fairly good year, uh, even though it wasn't as successful as our prior year, uh, but uh, we are looking forward to, to come back to previous levels. The, the main challenge came obviously from uh, an air separation unit in atmospheric gases, which had various shutdowns due to uh, failures on the plant turbine failure, etc., which caused Afrox to buy in third-party product, which caused uh, a lot of logistic on costs, uh, which we haven't uh, planned for. And then ultimately as well resulted in a, in a partial impairment of the production unit. Now this is a, a strong contributor to the, to the adverse results. Uh, as well in LPG, we had a lot of non-trading events, stock revaluations, um, couldn't pass on our costs from product to the market due to uh, interventions from government. Uh, and that has been quite unforeseeable events in combination obviously then with uh, the restructure which we already prepared for a longer time uh, that resulted just in uh, profits being down as they are reported. The restructuring is um, focusing on the management Whereas our 2015 to 16 restructuring was very much focusing on the overall resources uh, Afrox has and whether they shouldn't be adjusted. Um, and that led as well to quite a significant reduction in cost as well in headcount. Uh, this restructuring is focusing on being more effective in how we manage our uh, company as well, result, we have now three operating segments compared to four previously. So it's about streamlining, it's about double heading, uh, sharing responsibilities in some area, but as well taking on responsibilities for various areas in the combination of a person. Uh, and we believe that as well in uh, the new go-to-market uh, strategy for sales and marketing, uh, we will see higher efficiencies going forward. So that restructuring was really about uh, a reshape of the organization in the main. I believe if all these events of 2018 are not going to repeat, we, we will have a, a fairly balanced result in line maybe more with uh, the 2017 year, which was our strongest year since 2015.